Hello, hello, it is Chris Raquel and I am back again with another video. Um, today is day 14 of 21 days of videos in a row and I'm so excited. Um, this video is going to be specifically about knowing what you deserve and also there's a question that came up someone said someone asked on a first date should a man bring flowers well i'll get into that as well so as you can see i have some flowers behind me from my husband that is something that my husband does for me on the first date he did bring me flowers and that was something that I really loved and something that I do love because I love flowers. So it's always thoughtful when someone thinks of you and um, one remembers what you like and then also just wants to, to give you something and do something to show that they care. So should a man bring you flowers on the first date? I would say, I think it's lovely. I think it's nice. Um, there's a young lady that said one of her standards now is that if the man doesn't bring her flowers on the first date, she's not interested. Well, I mean, to each his own, to each her own. <laughs> I would say, yes, if a man brings you flowers, it could mean one of two things. One, it means that probably he's not into this quick hot pocket dating where he's dating somebody different each day of the week so he can't really afford to get everyone flowers so it probably means that that's not happening which is good he might be more intentional or he may be someone who is wealthy he is doing a hot pocket dating and he knows a woman like flowers so he's doing that with all those women because he has those resources to do so so it's one of those two things so i assume Typically, it's probably the first situation if he brings you flowers, it means he's intentional. It doesn't mean that he really likes you, but it means that he probably thinks you're attractive and he wants to see where things goes, where things go, and he wants to make sure that he's treating you well, which is a good sign. I think it's lovely if a man brings you something on the first date. That means that he wants to show that he's trying to take it seriously of course i mentioned that other scenario that second scenario where he could just have resources you could be one of many and he just knows a woman like flowers so just keep those two things in mind but you should most likely be able to tell the difference rather quickly so should a man bring you flowers once again i think he should because you're a lovely young lady, he's attempting to court you, and this video is for women who are looking for a husband or are trying to be found by a husband, I should say, and not women who are, well, it, it could be for these women as well, women who are just interested in dating around, nothing serious, but hopefully this video will make you see that you do need to get serious about dating it it's not a game it's something to play around with there's so many things that can happen when people are just trying to casual date dating is not casual um okay so if the man brings you flowers you want to be appreciative of them um whether it's a dozen two dozen 18 roses be very appreciative of it you do not want to make him let's say it's the first time you've ever received flowers you don't want to make it it known you don't want to say oh my gosh this is the first time a man has brought me flowers on a first date oh my gosh thank you so much oh my gosh you're so amazing thank you no um if it's the first time you receive flowers react as if you've received them a million times oh they're so beautiful thank you so much i appreciate them oh that was so sweet of you that was kind um and then you can hold on to them for the date and I would say just continue to gauge him. Normally, if you're appreciative of an item, the man will continue to bring them for you. He'll continue to show you that he cares. Um, it's when you maybe show that you're ungrateful or you say, oh, these are nice, but um, I prefer blue. I like the colored ones. I like yellow roses a little bit better. Now, the man probably not gonna buy them for you again or he'll probably he probably will buy what you asked for but he'll feel a little bit bad about not getting what you wanted or he'll just look at you a little bit differently 
but yes the man needs to buy you flowers <laughs> okay not need but it's very lovely if he does i've shared with you all before that when i was on my journey to dating of dating and trying to find the best suitor for me there were three individuals that i was vetting and deciding between and um i would say it certainly helped <laughs> that my current husband would bring me flowers all the time it was very nice it showed that he was putting in an extra effort by even if it was just a quick thought running to a store running to a florist to get those flowers he put in a, an extra effort before our dates so it was lovely and not to say that if a man doesn't bring you flowers that you should cut him off like the person i mentioned that said that's one of their standards now but i would say nine out of ten it shows that the man is very interested in you and that he's going to take extra steps to show that he cares and that he actually wants to court you right him bring me flowers is going to show you that he's not thinking this is a equal world yes it is equal world but just in terms of this concept it's an equal world 50 50 when i come in this situation you're going to pay 50 percent of the bills i'm going to pay 50 percent of the bills most likely if he's bringing you flowers he probably doesn't have that mentality he has more of a traditional mindset where you're the lady he's going to treat you well another thing about my husband he always opens my doors of the car he lets me in he opens doors he opens those doors for me um yeah so if <laughs> most likely man who a man who brings you flowers most likely does probably does not have that traditional mindset in terms no the modern mindset in terms of you pay 50 percent of bills i pay 50 percent of the bills and this video is not about that however my ideals and my thoughts about those things are the man is the provider the lady is the nurturer not to say that a woman can't pay any bills in a household that's not what i'm saying at all but the person who's supposed to I mean, based on biblical concepts, the man is the provider. Obviously, there were situations where the women worked, right? Um, the power was 31 women. She woke up really early to make sure her household was set. She went into the city and sold I think, fabrics and things like that, tapestry. So yes, you can work. However, the provider of the home, the one who will go out, break their back not literally to be able to make sure that you're taken care of make sure that the house is paid for make sure that you feel secure is the man so him doing that for you bringing you some nice lovely flowers is going to show that he cares for you or well, if he doesn't know you he doesn't care for you so don't get that twisted and don't let it get to your head don't let, let yourself start thinking oh well he um he bought me flowers oh my god yes my first time i received flowers now this is the one no <laughs> but just know that like you know the yeah, that, that gets him an extra star because one i love flowers so it just showed that the person's going the extra mile or extra inch you can say to show that they care for you um so you just want to really make sure that you're monitoring the man and set those standards set them high there's nothing wrong with that <sighs> think about it this way if you know what you can do for yourself right if you know everything you can do for yourself you know that you know if you go to a restaurant you're gonna get yourself a drink or two you're gonna have an appetizer a starter you're going to have an entree main meal and then you are gonna have a dessert after that so for me whenever I would go out let's say I would go out with a friend or a sister um, for a normal beverage, I would normally drink water with lemon. Then, um, if it was a place that served alcoholic beverages, I'm not like a, a huge alcohol drinker, but I would get probably a mixed drink or two, probably two, or a glass of wine. And then I would get my main meal, whatever that might be. Whether I eat it all is up to me. I can bring the other part home later. And then I would get a dessert. That's just how I go out, right? So. If you go out to a restaurant and you're feeling that the man doesn't want you to purchase something extra or that he doesn't want you to um 
yeah, that it seems like he's like, I want, I'm just gonna be honest, cheap, frugal in terms of, okay, he got something and he's like kind of eyeing what you're getting. You see you picking something on the menu and then he's like kind of, you see him with your eyes, you know if he's doing this, looking at the price and the cost of the item. <laughs> no, because that's not what you would do for yourself. I'm not saying you would look at the cost, but you, if you want something, like if I were to go out and you know go to a restaurant and i see the dish and the dish is i mean like 30 dollars, 35 dollars. like okay that's fine i'm gonna get it right you don't want to go out and feel like first of all the man is asking you on a date right so once again not saying you're gonna try to break anyone's pocket but you want to feel that you can get what you would get for yourself right you you want to feel like that standard is not gonna be lowered so or even let's say the man let's say the man isn't on your financial level just assuming and i'm not saying like okay something so drastic where you make over a hundred thousand and he makes twenty thousand but let's say his finances are aren't just that your finances are higher than his one you shouldn't know that he should have already saved up to be able to do something nice for you so if he is going if his pockets are going to be hurting if you buy a 30 or 35 dollar entree then he most he probably shouldn't have picked that restaurant um yeah so he just, he needs to be prepared right so let's say you go out to a restaurant and you normally would get yourself not water like me you get yourself a soda you get yourself one drink that's what you normally would do you get yourself an entree and then you get yourself a dessert you don't want to feel like he's eyeing you when you're you got a regular beverage which is normal you got an entree and you got an alcoholic beverage and you got a dessert <laughs> i mean obviously you're not gonna go crazy right so i mean um I, to each his own right but i personally if i'm somebody who loves eat to eat lobsters and all that stuff which i don't I'm not somebody who's gonna be trying to order a one hundred dollar entree. Obviously, that's that's just rude because that's not the that's not what you expect when you go to a restaurant. The average cost of a meal wouldn't be that amount at any restaurant on average. So, just figure like what is an average cost, and if you want a dessert, why not? Like when I when I went my first date with my husband, he was very sweet. He had flowers for me. Um, he like kind of i think i mentioned this before he tried to like celebrate my birthday because my birthday was some days earlier um i had cake candle champagne entree my dessert um it, it was just really lovely how he he just was really sweet and then on the second date if i remember where we went to where did we go on our second date um Oh, the second day was really nice as well. Like we had multiple like starters, entrees. Well, my, it's not all about food. I'm not like a big foodie or anything. He brought me flowers, caring. He, he, um, you know, he, he came. All these dates, he came to me, and he lived about an hour and a half from me at the time. Paid for his parking, of course. Um, the restaurant we went to was nice. I actually picked every single restaurant, and the restaurants I picked were um they weren't bottom of the barrel in terms of like going to dunkin donuts they were nice restaurants that on average the entrees you could get were probably in the 20s 30s some higher end ones like a, a regular restaurant right and um you know we had so many <laughs> no not so many drinks but we had drinks like i on our day like it wasn't like i felt like i couldn't get my normal two drinks i think i got i think i got one at first and then like he got one and he's like oh you want another one he got one for him another one for himself he's like yeah get another one i think he we ended up either even have, like having like two or two to three each mind you know i'm not saying to drink on your dates and stuff it's not like that it wasn't like that though it was just kind of like if you're somebody who drinks when you go out to restaurants and it's normal for you me i'm a tall woman i'm not thin so two or three drinks doesn't it doesn't do anything for me and that's the most i'll ever have i think i had i probably had two that's like the normal for me um but yeah just want to make sure that you don't want to lower your standards you're not gonna make somebody feel like you have to be pressed to see what you're getting on a menu if the man is like eyeing you if the if the person comes over to you and says oh and ask him do you want dessert and then you're like oh and he's like nope and then you kind of say he's like kind of looking at you to say no but you still say yes and you can see he doesn't really like that 
that's not a good sign just ladies just know you don't have to settle for certain things don't settle for a standard that you wouldn't allow for yourself however keep in mind the man is the man so just know you can't fault someone for not being on your same financial level so let's say the man let's just assume he makes less than you you're gonna have to be okay with whatever standard he's gonna bring to you you're this is this is my suggestion to you i do not recommend if you let's say you make i'll just throw out a number let's say you make um fifty thousand okay let's say your guy makes thirty thousand um and it's coming to that point where you're all going to live together. You're going to find a home together. You're going to take those steps after you've been married or right before you were married. You're looking into places to live. And let's say he he has a certain amount of income that he can provide in terms of the standard of living for you. I don't recommend you saying, okay, well, I think right now we want to save for a home and i want to start having children so we need a three bedroom so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put up 50 percent of that rent and you're gonna do 50 percent. we're gonna keep it like that we'll just do 50 50 percent of the bills because with my income we can have a higher standard of living and we'll just go from there I don't recommend that because that's how your life is going to be moving forward. If you're someone who believes that the man is a provider, it doesn't matter if right now he's less making earning less than you. In the future, even if he earns more than you, he's going to be looking for you to contribute that half. So start that standard correctly. He's the man, so really look at that man and don't think like, oh, you know, we're a team. So that's okay if he earns less than me. I got it. I'm going to supplement that. No. And plus, because you're a woman, you're going to help him actually grow. So you being in his life is going to allow him to expand. I would just say in that situation, you're going to have to say to yourself, okay, no, no three bedroom. Okay. He said with his $30,000 income or however much he makes, he can provide a two bedroom for you um, right now in an apartment. And let's say that's not what you wanted. You really wanted a three bedroom no no it's not okay especially if it's not that's not okay it's two of you allow that man to be a man allow him to work and do what he needs to do to provide for you and he will continue to do that moving forward he's gonna love you he's gonna care for you and he's gonna feel so good about himself knowing that he could provide for you and everything like that and that's just one scenario let's say he earns less let's say he earns more than you let's say you make the thirty thousand he makes the fifty thousand and he says he can do this for you and he says hey like i can do i can do a three bedroom apartment right now but in order for us to save money for our home what i need you to do is give me half and then that way i can help save as well no that's not gonna work it's just it's just better in a relationship where in a marriage when the, there's like roles and defined things that people do because then the roles start to get mixed and confused just let let there be that separation so if that person who earns more is saying that what you will do you'll you'll want to be like well no i think that's fine like well i don't know if it should have it should have probably not even gotten that far if that's how he thinks and you're just realizing it in marriage but anyway let's say you didn't know so you would just be like no it's okay you got it i know i i trust you i know you can take care of this mortgage or this um rent um and what i can do i can put my the funds that i have the extra and i can start you know making a savings for us something like that that's nice you're still contributing well not still it just depends on each relationship um and you know you're doing what you can me personally everyone has their own mindset about this i truly do think that if you are in a relationship or in a, in a marriage, I should say, I do think that if you're earning an income, you should be doing something with that income. Um, of course, if the man is very wealthy and he wants to just provide anything that you need, he got you. Okay, that's different. But I think whatever you're making, you should 
do something with it. So let's say he doesn't want you to contribute to any bills in the home. Sure, that's fine. Um, you should be doing something with it, whether it's saving, whether it's trying to start a business for yourself, trying to do something that's going to help your family. Especially if you have no kids. That's what, how I feel. If you have no kids, you should be doing something. Um, I will just tell you, in my situation, um, my husband, he covers the whole household bills. And then my income is for I what I see fit. That's what he tells me. And then I, I do what I can in terms of, like, I'm, I'm, I really want us to have, like, a good savings. So I'm doing that side of things. But my husband does pay for our household bills. So those things are definitely possible. You know, you just want to make sure you're always encouraging your husband and your fiancé or the guy that you're, if you're serious and exclusive with someone for, you've been with them for a while. And... You know everything's gonna work out for you. I don't want to make this video too long, but I wanted to say just thank you so much for watching and supporting me. Feel free to like, list any questions below, and I will um, answer them for you. I'm actually gonna be doing that haul. Most of those items came for Victoria's Secret, so I can't wait to go over those with you as well. Thank you, and have a blessed day. Bye.